folks, welcome back to my channel. This is Roger Stormcraft, and once again, bringing you some more Pokemon Randomized Nuzlocke Red version. Now, you saw in the last episode, we got some decent encounters, and now we're made, we made it all the way to Peter City. We made it through Radiant Forest with. I, want, I don't want to say really a hassle because everyone, everything there was kind of weak to Jolteon. But anyway, I shall show you the team right now as it stands. We have Munchos, our Snorlax at level 14. With 25 attack, 38 defense, 46 speed, and 24 special, with only headbutt, amnesia, and rest, he has not learned a new move yet. And next we have Lightning at level 15, with 41 attack, 43 defense, 22 speed, and 32 special. So right now our Snorlax is outspeeding our Jolteon. How? I don't know, but still. Just only tackle, sand attack, quick attack, and thunder shot. So, right now, I'm going to go get us some potions, sell some stuff off, and see if we can go take on Brock and his gym. So, I'll probably have done this long beforehand, but however, I'm not going to worry about too, too much. They're not going to give me no money for a PP up. Okay. So they're not going to give us any money for that. I should use the pound. Munchos is headbutt. What I thought was going to be cash money was well, not. Alright, so. Let's see if we can beat Brock here. Stop right there, kid. You're still right here, some face of Brock. I'm almost giving everyone Gary's voice, but still. I don't know why it's one of my favorite voices to use. He's got two Pokemon, he's got a Seedra. So Munchos is not the right one for this one. I probably should bring out Lightning. Thank you, Smoke Screen, for failing. Let's make it double. It might get the speed drop. Nope, no speed drop. Okay. Without anything else speeds us anyway. Hello, smoke screen. Ah, I can't, I can't, I can't see. Yeah. It's gonna need bubble again. Oh my lord, really? Currently, right now, Brock's gym is turning into a water type gym. Good, that takes care of the seed right? Sorry, I know you're probably also hearing that, so let me turn that off real quick. Sorry, it was hotter than heck in my room, so. A Haunter. I'm going to have to keep lightning in, because lightning's the only thing that can hit this thing. Oh, and of course she used Confuse around me. Alright, so let's go out in the Munchos real quick. It's gonna hurt. Alright, cool. Munchos come back. Lightning. No, I completely forgot to buy potions, didn't I? Oh boy, this could turn really bad. Please stop hurting yourself. Thank you, Lightning. Oh, that's gonna hurt. 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 Okay. Didn't hurt too badly. Okay, good. Didn't get the parrot. Can we get this kill? Nope, not yet. Okay, so if we hit one more thunder shock, this is all this is all she wrote. Good. Oh god, I got through there without using a potion. Oh my lord. What was I thinking? <laughs> I just sold my stuff off and walked in saying, hey, we got our stuff. Wait a minute. <laughs> Alright, so let's go get some, let's go heal up and get some potions in our backpack and not just leave them at the store. Jolteon, you are a monster, and I love you for it. 
But the best thing that was the best thing for me to do is leave him in and let him deal with Haunter. Ten potions. Let's get ten more Pokeballs just in case you run anything hefty. Pardon me. However, I am gonna see what the next route brings and what the random uh, Pokemon we can buy from Pokemon Center outside of Mount Moon brings before deciding my four Pokemon. So. It's going to be rough, because I'm only going to have two Pokemon, but I want to see where it goes. I'm really hoping, beyond hope, that we can get something good. If he's not going to obliterate us. We shall see. Golduck. Not bad. I should have still put Jolteon out first. Oh, my lord. And I'm pretty sure Jolteon right now is my win con. Oops. Yeah, Thundershock, not frickin' Tackle. Oh, Poli. Good, he didn't. He didn't disable my Thundershock, which is weird. But it's okay, I guess. Meta. We just got gifted this badge. You know that, right? To anyone watching this video, you know we just got gifted this badge with this Metapod sitting right here. That was just Brock opening up his heart and going, Here. <laughs> I shall gift you this badge. When I saw Golduck to start off with, that was eh. But then Metapod just comes out and goes, Finish me. I took you for granted. As proof of your victory, here's the Boulder Badge. Thank you! That's an official Pokemon League badge. The bearer's Pokemon become more powerful. The technique Flash can now be used at any time. Thank you, sir. Wait, take this with you. TM34. A TM contains a technique that can be taught to a Pokemon. A TM is good only once, so when you use it, Use one, attack, and you can pick the Pokemon. Carefully. Gust. Does it really contain Gust? It does really contain Gust. Munchos and Lightning can both learn it. Huh? Pidgeotto already learns it, so I'm just going to teach Munchos Gust, so that way he at least has two attacking moves. We pretty much got out of there unscathed. Like, Jolteon literally only took four points of damage. Four from that Golduck. We got gifted that badge. So we're just going to come in here, heal up, get our PP back up, and then we'll go from there. I mean, I suppose I can bring a Pokemon into my party for Switch Fodder. Since now I can have four Pokemon anyway. But I think I'm also just going to bring these guys into my party because of the fact that we don't know what we're going to get. So. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to level up Sora by Switch Training. Via Mime is probably going to be the same way, Switch Training. Because everyone over here is going to be level between level 11 and 16, I believe. So they're going to give off these next p Pokemon. Alright, lady, let's battle you first. You looked at me, didn't you? Was I not supposed to? A ponytail. That. Hmm. We don't have anything for a ponytail at the moment, and I'm just worried about the ember burn. 
Please don't burn us. Please don't burn us. Please don't burn us. Good. Alright, that got the point out of here. Sora jumped up from 2 to 5. Nice. About to use a Psyduck. Alright, so now we're going to go to Biomime. Since Biomime's under Sora's level right now. Now we're going to switch out to Lightning. Let Lightning Thunderbolt the Psyduck in the next week, and we'll have Burnt Duck for dinner. Alright, there we go. Anyone for Crispy Duck? My am I is now level 5. Awesome. You're mean. Okay, whatever. Hey, I met you in Brain Forest. Are you sure about that? Are you sure you're not mistaking me for anybody else? Mm -hmm. And he has a Moltres. That's what I mean by bug catchers having legendaries. And I know Moltres is going to have that fire spin because it's one of the only moves it knows. Besides Peck. And right there's fire spin. Now, in first gen, fire spin and wrap, anything that can multiple hit you is broken to the point where you can never move. Even though Lightning could just Thundershock out of the fire spin, but still. I do have potions, so I'm not really worried about it. And it just goes for it again. Lightning, why can't you be faster there, bud? Probably should have switched out into Snorlax, but... I really want to hit the speed up button because this sub is going to go. It's just going to keep using that dang fire spin until it finally misses and then I can actually get a move off. Thank you for missing. I should have went with quick attack to get another freaking hit on it. So I think I'm just going to do a quick heal here anyway, since he's just basically going to hit us with a fire spin. Because if you remember uh, remembers us from Brilliant Forest, he did not have a Maltraz in Brilliant Forest. Quick attack and get this bird up out of here. Nice, there we go. Alright, and I got a critical at the end. That's just adding insult to injury. Sora's at level 8. Awesome job, Sora. Alright, Dodo. You're gonna get met with Viamime. Need a little peck. Good. Alright. Doesn't do that much damage. Let's switch back out. Next show, I'm gonna switch out to Munchos. I'm going to try to keep Munchos up there with uh, Lightning. Munchos with another critical, but then again, that is a small bird, so... Alright, so Kakuna. Viam, I'm, you're all over this one, dear dude. You're just all over this one. You're going to rip that Kuna up and spit him out. Nearly one shot critical super effective. Jesus. Alright, well, that just took care of that one. Biomime's up to level 7, so... I'm thinking of putting a Biomime out front, but I really want to keep Sora out front. But, yeah, we're going to see what it's going to be after this one. Alright, buddy, what you got? What you got? What you got? What you got? Nidoran. Okay, that ain't too bad. However, uh, Sora definitely cannot take that on with that horn attack of its. So, we're gonna switch out into Munchos. And 
And done. Nice job, Munch. Another critical hit for Munchos. Jesus. Alright, so we're in by a mine here. This Alakazam is going to have hella special, so I really am going to have to worry here. Alright, so let's switch out to Lightning. I think he's got our most special defense right now. Oh yeah, that barely did anything to Lightning. Way to go, bud. And that barely... <laughs> Trying to run away from battle, are you? Well, I'm just going to teleport out of... That's right, I forgot it's physical defense, so it was kind of <laughs> doo doo butter. Alright, there we go. Why am I just not level 8? Awesome. I don't believe it! Well, believe it there, buddy. You lost, okay? Alright, so let's get lightning back up on health. Let's get Munchos back up on house. Alright, so let's go up here and battle this person. That look you gave me, it's so intriguing. Somebody's hitting on me. Okay, what do you got? A Lapras? That's perfect fodder for frickin' lightning. Lightning, come in here, please. Water gun is gonna do six damage, which is not bad. And that just mercs the Lapras. Alright, good. Level 10 for Sora. Level 17 for Lightning. A Geodude. Alright, well. Let's see what Biomime can do against a Geodude. It's level 10, so it's only going to probably know to tackle and defense crawl. Just comes out with the critical confusion. Good lord, Biomime. Biomime's gonna take out this dude, dude. Awesome job, Biomime. Level 9 for Biomime. Great. Be nice! Are you a trainer? Let's fight! No, these Pokeballs on my belt mean absolutely nothing. It is 4v4, and this guy's got an Omanyte. Sora, go! You only know Gus and Sam attack, but go! Alright, so let's switch on to Lightning here. I'm not sure if Thundershock works, I think it's Rock Water. Oh, it does work. Good. That should one-shot it. Way to go. Alright, 115, Sora's level 11. Nice. Good job, Sora. Bye, Mime, you're all over this. And, wow. And... done for. Alright. A Vaporeon. I shall buy mine stay in. Because you're going to get good experience off this. Let's switch on to Lightning. It's a Vaporeon versus a Jolteon. Two evolutions battling it out. Thank you to the sand attack for missing. But I'm just going to use Quick Attack next. Doesn't do anything to Jolteon, though. And Jolteon just one shots to Vaporeon. Good. Biomime is level 10. 
a Dratini. Alright. Dratini should only know Rap and Leer, I believe. Especially at level 9, so let's use Confusion. And we get the turn 1 Confusion. Good lord, and by I'm just completely obliterate Stratini. Just, Stratini's just done. <laughs> if I had new Pokemon, I would have won. You have great Pokemon, dude. Except for the Metapod, but once you level him up one more time, let him evolve. And then you will legit have an awesome team. I'm a choke straight out the gate. Level 14 at that. Oh dear Christ. Alright, well, um. I'm really gonna have to worry about this one, but go munchos. Use headbutt. So it's like headbutt's gonna be a 2 hit KO. 3 hit KO. Now we got the flinch, just finish it off, Gust. And over with. Great job, Munchos. Sora's level 12. And Sora left whip attack. Good. Lost, lost, lost! Once you get him a champ kid, I don't think you're going to be losing anytime soon. Alright, so now, I think we got, yeah, we got some potions left. We can waste two. Waste one on lightning. And we're going to waste one on Biomime. Because Biomime has been doing pretty good. I want to actually take a look at Biomime's special. It's 21, but he's been doing some serious damage. Alright, let's go up here. Then so we got two more trainers to battle, then we can get our encounter. Go to the Pokemon Center, buy our other Pokemon, and let's see what we'll have at the end of this. Alright, you can fight my new Pokemon. Okay. Well, let's see what happens. Executor. I had a run-in with this earlier, and it was not fun at all. Basically, I nearly got wiped. Because, this, this right there, it was using Hypnosis and Barrage. Hypnosis and Barrage. The whole freaking time. And I'm just like... Come on. It nearly took out Snorlax at level... Snor it was level 4. Snorlax was level 11. And it nearly took Snorlax out. Bink. What it sounds like it sounds like somebody's just baking something off a person's head in a cartoon. That's what that barrage sounds like. Let's get the executor up and out of here. Apparently, that wild executor was more smart than the trainer. An arcanine? Okay, so we're gonna have to switch on the biomine here. It should know bite, ember, and roar, if I'm not mistaken. And that's it. Well, there's the roar. Alright, so let's go from you. Well, we're gonna go into Munchos, why not? Let Munch let's see if Munchos can take out this Arcanine. Yikes, that is decent damage. But that is more decent damage. Take oh no, it's take down as well. And it just finished itself off. It just basically won the battle for us. Alright, thank you, buddy. Alright. So, done like dinner. Yep, you were. However, you took yourself out, so you're the only one to blame. Alright, so I'm just going to put Biomime up front, since Sora's kind of taking a nap on us. We've got one more, one more battle to go, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk around, go up to the Pokemon Center first, heal up, and probably buy the Pokemon while we're up there, come back, get our encounter, and then I'm going to call it there in this video. Sent out Tentacruel. 
buy a mine, take a good look at the tentacle, and then go back in your ball. This thing's gonna start wrapping, and I don't want you to lose. Because I don't know it's acid, I don't know wrap, and I can't remember what else I know. Supersonic, of course. I'm already confused, numbskull. Joel Chan, please stop hitting yourself. For the love of all that is good and holy. Oh my lord, you hit yourself again. Come on now. Don't do this to me. I'm just going to use two potions to get it back up to a decent amount of health. And now it starts for the wrapping. Oh my lord, every single move it just hits itself. Please give me some more, thank you. It gets yet another para. So we're able to attack first and just drop that tentacle dead in its tracks. Nice job, Lightning. Even though you did attack yourself every single turn of confusion, but. It's whatever, I guess. Alright, so let's head on to Pokemon Center, heal up by our newest friend. And we're going to come down to the grass down here and get our encounter. Hopefully. Alright, so. First of all, heal up. Bink, 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 bing, bing, ba da ding. There we go. Pokemon are fighting. That we hope to see you again. Thank you very much. All right, have a great one. Hello there. Have I got you just for you? I'll let you have a swell magic up for just five hundred bucks. What do you say? Yeah, sure. Why not? A prime ape. Oh heck to the yes. I will happily take that. Oh my god. Let's see here. What do we name a primate? I'm just gonna name you Ali. Just for the heck of it. I'm an Ali, that one's for you, brother. Alright, so now we have a primate on our team. With 21 attack at level 5, no scratch, leer, cry chop, and fury swipes. Oh my lord, I might be giving up a Mimarasaur. Oh my god. That is awesome to see. Please let our encounter be just as good. If our encounter is just as good, I'm gonna flip out. <laughs> oh my god! Our encounters. I, I can't use you by a mime because you're just gonna one shot it. I need to go out into. Yikes. Um, who can I use? Who can I use? Lightning might one-shot it with a tackle. Actually, yeah. Because it's physical and she's got more physical or he's got more physical. Whatever it is. So, I'm going to have to go with... I'm going to go with Munchos and use Gust and hope to God he doesn't crit. Okay, it's quite obvious I can definitely not hit that thing again, so here we go. Oh my lord. Come on, Ivysaur, we need you on this team. Oh my lord, come on. I think I do have one more encounter, and that's in Mount Moon. I might... I'm gonna think about getting that one before the end of this video. Thank you, Ivysaur. Thank you so much. Oh, my lord. We have that water coverage as well. Even though Jolteon is water coverage by itself, but still. 
we needed the rock coverage as well. And Ivy Sword will come in big there. We shall name you. I'm just gonna give her the nickname of Ivy. Our team right now is broken. Oh my lord. Alright, so I'm not gonna use Ollie or Ivy right now. I'm just gonna go in here and get my encounter and go back to the Pokemon Center. So. TM43, what is that? Spence Girl, I don't need that at all. Alright, our encounter on Mount Moon is going to be a Pokemon that actually is on Mount Moon. Very. Alright, so Viamime, um, can you confuse your thing and not kill it? Oh, Viamime, you are well trained there, my friend. Good lord, let's capture this Kaperi and be on our way. One, two, three. Dang, dang, dang. Alright. Add the Pokedex, good. We've caught every encounter except for one, I think. On the route, we were supposed to fight our rival and we didn't fight him. Give it anything to Kaperi, I shall give you the nickname of... I have to do this one. Now, I don't know if it's true or not because I don't read lore. But I'm going to save it right here and I'm going to let you guys know that I believe, in all honesty, Gengar is the shadow of Clefable. If you look at them both, don't you guys believe that? I'm honestly believing that. I might, I might look into the lore, but... If you guys know ahead of time, please let me know, because I really want to know if it's true or not. I'm going to look it up myself, but anyway, love you guys. Please have fun out there. Please be safe if you're traveling with this coronavirus and all that stuff going around. Be safe. Watch what you're doing. I know you guys don't want to, but wear your mask. Do whatever you have to, just to keep you and everybody else around you safe. I don't approve of wearing a mask. I don't like wearing the mask, but when I go out... I gotta do it, otherwise there's a lot of places you can't go into. But anyway, please take care. Be safe.